Hi everyone, thanks for coming by. Appreciate you being here. Um, my video number four, Experiment with Colors. I'm going to be doing a piece for my friend for her dining room. And she wanted a Dutch pour, so I was playing with the colors yesterday <clears throat> in a Dutch pour. And I had another canvas I wanted to cover over. I've already flooded it. It's an 8x10. That calls for 2.86 ounces of paint if you're doing a straight pour. And I am just a sucker for a straight pour, so I wanted to try those colors in one of those and see what happens. So that's what we're going to do. Same colors as yesterday. I put a little bit of white in. And I'm going to go with dioxazine purple. Good little amount of that. And I'm going to use Liquitex Basics Deep Violet. Some of that in there. And we're going to go with little dot of white and I'm going to put in silver that's Liquitex Basics as well silver One more little dot of white as I've said I use that dots of white in the straight pour to uh, help separate the colors I think it might be all in my head but I don't put that much in. I don't know if you can see that, but just a little teeny bit. Now I'm going to go with this candy green. And a little boop of white. Use a sterling silver. I'm going to go with uh, that's. Master's Touch Violet, that's Hobby Lobby brand. Master's Touch Violet. Purple Flash. Plop of White. Some more silver. That might be a boo boo. And a little bop of white. Some more of this green. Remember when you're doing a straight pour, uh, what goes in your cup first comes out last. I'll top it off with that green. And what goes in last comes out first. So these colors are going to be on the outside. Okay, what the heck? Let's see what happens. Sorry, I'm sort of OCD about covering up my bottles. Not a bad thing. Alrighty, we ready? Straight pour. Hold your nose, here she goes. I already popped the bubbles. Well, it looks like the silver is taking over. It didn't do that in the Dutch pour, but it's going to do it on a straight pour, maybe. It is so cantankerous. Ooh, that's a big old mass of silver. Yeah, let's see what happens after we pop the bubbles and stretch it out a little bit. Light. Come on. There we go. 
Couple of bubbles. Wow, yeah, that's a bunch of silver. Yeah, we meant it. I end up scraping this mess. You see that? I thought the green would take over, but there's not a lot of that in there. each corner and paint back to the center to another corner back to center In this corner Center. Yeah, that silver is just eating everything else alive. Let's get rid of a bunch of that. Whoa, slickery. Can't see it real well. Hey, well, what do you know? I think that was a decent save, actually. We. Wrap a ton of paint on your hands. All right. I'm gonna try not to get that right over your painting. Hmm. Yeah, that's silver. Don't know how that's gonna look when it dries, but I am gonna let it dry just to see what happens. It's all a spearmint. Let's go back to torch. Oh, please let my new one be here soon. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah. That's why I should get a new one. Pop the bubbles. Okay. Well, actually, got some good bands in there. Those are kind of cool. Those cells are neat. Hmm. Silver, silver everywhere, though. And that's the thing with paint. You just gotta mess with them and, uh, See how they play together and also how they dry together because uh, I know copper, I have a devil of a time with it taking over. Uh, I had a beautiful straight pour, had quite a bit of copper in it, but it was all nice and separated. But then after it dried, I don't know what, but it was like the copper was like, nope, that's my place. And I had like a copper rectangle, so... Well, we'll see what happens with this one. This isn't worth a fooey, but let me bring you down if I can. Show you what it looks like. Yeah, we got bunches of silver in there. So, 
We will see what happens. Tune in later. I'll show you the dried result when it's uh, three, four days from now. Thanks for coming by. Check my links in the description box. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you again. I appreciate you. Go have fun with paint. Now let's take another little look at this thing. A little better since I'm not holding on to a tripod. Actually not too shabby. Again, that silver I'm afraid might take over. But there's some cool stuff in there. There's some neat little cells and all of the little bands. Those are cool. That's really spiffy. Those little big gold cells. There's a little bitty lines down there. Lines over there in the corner. Okay. Yep, there she is. We'll see what happens when she dries.